And we do have a lot of clouds in place as well. Our temperatures ranging from upper 60s to lower 70s, and we are looking for temperatures in the 70s this afternoon after we jumped up into the 60s yesterday and the 50s on Saturday. That's where our highs were, but very different feel today thanks to these south winds. A quick check on our planner for the next several hours. We're going to be topping out, I think, around 72 or 73, maybe just a couple more degrees this afternoon before temperatures drop off this evening into the 60s. And we have just a slight chance on this Martin Luther King Jr. Day for a shower. Not a big chance at all. There might just be a couple of showers as we move into the later part of the day and into tonight. Overall, it'll just be warmer, a little more humid, a little bit of a south breeze, which I'll show you in a second. And then also we'll eventually keep our rain chance near 20% tonight and tonight will not be as cold. In fact, North Shore and South Shore lows will be in the 60s as opposed to those 30s that we had over the weekend for the mornings. Here is satellite and radar imagery. A lot of cloud cover, of course, and actually not too many breaks in the clouds so far. There are some you can see a little thinning out of the cloud cover here and there, so you might briefly have a peak of sunshine, but a lot of clouds right now over South Louisiana and into Mississippi. Couple of showers just out to our west, and you can see the system beginning to uh, move and kind of scoot off to the northeast of us. We're going to see our rain this week really come into play tomorrow, Wednesday, just a few showers but more so late Wednesday night. That's when we're expecting a line of storms to move through. And it does look like with this system, maybe a high wind gust could be possible, but overall not a huge chance for severe weather. Rain totals will likely be less than an inch. Here is the severe risk, by the way, for Wednesday. <clears throat> As I said, the high wind gust would be the main thing. Tornado and hail potential lower. And actually only the northern and western fringes of our area are included in that lowest risk of severe storms level one out of five. So something we'll watch. I don't think we'll have a lot of problems with this overnight Wednesday, but just something to know before you wake up on Thursday or maybe around when you wake up, we will have some rain briefly moving in and out. Now here's precision cast. This is today. You can see mostly cloudy peaks of sunshine, couple of showers maybe out to our west, especially. Overnight and early tomorrow, a couple of showers. Again, this is not going to be a big rain event either tomorrow or Wednesday, um, especially during the days. As we move to tomorrow afternoon, look at this. Our model has us actually clearing out, so we'll really warm up tomorrow and Wednesday to upper 70s, maybe even scraping 80. This is Wednesday morning. We have clouds, just a slight chance for a shower. This is the daytime, though, on Wednesday, and you saw not a lot of rain for us but we will have mostly cloudy skies. And as I said, a warm, breezy, humid, spring-like kind of feel. Then here's the line of rain. So this is Wednesday night, 10 p.m. I've paused it. We'll fast forward to 3 a.m. Some of these North Shore spots. This will be overnight getting some of the rain a bit earlier than our South Shore locations. We'll fast forward to 5 and 6 a.m. The rain may already be uh, leaving many of our North Shore and metro area spots. And then through the day on Thursday, we will be drying out pretty fast. Rain totals, by the way, this is for the next seven days. We might see some rain back in the forecast over the weekend. So including actually even the weekend, we may in the blues and purples get up to maybe one to two or so inches of rain. So we will be watching for that this weekend too. That front that's moving in on Thursday will make it very pleasant on Friday. Maybe a few clouds, but cooler and overall a pretty nice day. And then it will move back to the north as a warm front this weekend. Models are still kind of figuring out whether we will get warmer weather for this weekend or possibly a bit of a cool down for now. We're kind of splitting the difference between the big global models, which have either 50s or 70s. So keep your eye on the weekend forecast. We'll likely get a better idea as we see the system take shape in the next few days. But I would plan on a few showers or thunderstorms around on Saturday and maybe a few showers even into Sunday too. Alexandra, thank you so much. Last week, students walked out of